Hey guys, today I want to sidestep a little bit and share some relatable content with you all. It's been a tough couple of months and I thought I would just share some thoughts and feelings to my clients and viewers. If you are my client, you would have realized that we've been hit with the busiest that we've ever been in our office. I used to respond within 24 hours. Now I get clients chasing me up on an email they sent about days ago. With all the lockdowns and transitioning to working from home and dealing with tough times for our clients and those constant changes in legislations, I forgot to consider my well-being and ended up putting my clients' needs before mine. Last week, I finally experienced a burnout. I worked way too hard for the last 18 months and completely forgot to take care of myself. I was feeling absolutely exhausted about work, life and absolutely everything and everyone told me the best way to get through this was to just take a break and take it easy. So I took a day off. I literally don't remember the last time I did that and it was so bloody beneficial actually. I was able to take a step back, give myself some time to wind down and think about my life. And you know what I realized? About five years ago, I had no job. I just started my business and I was completely regretting my decision. I was leaving my stable job and venturing into doing something that barely any 26 year old was doing, starting an accounting firm from scratch. Six years ago, I was heartbroken and I felt like I wasted eight years of my life with someone. And seven years ago, I wasn't sure accounting was the right path for me at all. And if I take it even further, 10 years ago, I was in loads of debt due to my stupid mistakes in my bloody life. And 14 years ago, I was depressed and I blamed myself for my family's health and situation. But at some point in between all of that, let's say about 12 years ago, I told myself I would work hard to make a shit ton of money. And 10 years ago, I would also decided that I would do whatever it takes to help my family and provide for them. Five years ago, I also realized that I don't need someone to make me happy. Four years ago, I fell in love with accounting again. And three years ago, I believe I was going to build a business bigger than myself. And the best part, six months ago, I got engaged with my best friend. And two months ago, I was awarded the Young Accountant of the Year. Today, I took a much needed break to get my shit together. And I thought it would be good to share that with you guys. It's been a long time since I told myself I would work hard to provide for my family. And finally, I feel like I'm getting somewhere. It's been super bloody tough, but I will be lying if I told you that I didn't enjoy the journey. It's been the best part actually. It's been super duper rewarding. And the fact that it's taken 14 years to get where I am, makes me appreciate what I've actually achieved even more. A lot of people just think about how lucky that person is, but they don't consider all the hard work that goes on behind the scenes and how much commitment it takes to achieve your dreams. I'm super thankful for the people around me, my mom, my dad, my brothers, my fiance, my friends, my clients, my employees, my extended family, my business partners. You're all the reason why I do what I do. Although I might sometimes complain about how life is, I'm sure my employees already know how much I say this because they always hear me say, man, life is hard <laughs> on a daily basis. But I will tell you this, I'm sure as hell appreciative of life. I feel like life is short. There are so many things that I wanna do in life, but if I just sit there and complain about my life, I don't think I would even make a dent in the world and the same applies to you guys. Sure, there have been setbacks, tough moments, times I just didn't think I could make it, but it will get better. Just need to keep pushing through it. Or you could take the easy way out and complain and do absolutely nothing, but sooner or later, you're gonna get tired of sitting there doing nothing but complain. You will become a sad, resentful person. So why not just put your head down and keep working? Just do it. I know it sucks. At times, I know it's hard to get started, but you can really get addicted to that journey. And if it takes longer than you expected, I promise you, it's far more rewarding in the end. You need to have a plan, have the patience, 
and the realization that you may have to sacrifice things in life. I'm 100% sure that anyone you have looked up to in life, Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, Kobe Bryant, mum or dad, all your friends, wherever it's their career, money, friendships, health or love, they all had a plan and they all made some kind of sacrifice to get where they needed to be. And they were patient. I started in accounting when I was 17 years old. And during an interview with my old boss, I told him that one day I was gonna run my own business. So 14 years ago, I had a plan and it was there from day one. I worked my bloody ass off. I sacrificed blood, sweat and tears for this dream. I could have been playing games with friends, living overseas, going on holidays with friends and family, or just spending my time being with loved ones. But I made that little sacrifice and I pushed myself. I took action and pursued my dreams. But that's not all we need. I also had the patience to keep on moving forward. It's taken 14 bloody years, but finally, I feel like I'm closer, closer to achieving my dreams. I'm not there yet, but I'm close enough to smell it. So for all of you people out there who are maybe going through a tough time, the tougher it gets, the more rewarding the end goal is. As weird as that sounds, the harder it's been, the more enjoyable it's been too. When I was young, I always wanted to build a successful company and provide for my family as quickly as possible. But you kind of fall in love with that process and it makes the end goal even more rewarding and special. I don't even know how that makes sense to be honest, but it does for me. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay motivated, stay driven, and I promise you, you'll get where you need to be. See you next time.